Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Chrono Trigger. Where we left off last time, we were headed back to... Fight the Fiend Lord. We got Frog is Magic, he is a water element magic guy. How many elements are there in the game? There is Ice, Water, Lightning, Fire, Shadow. And I want to say that's about it. Uh, Ayla can't use magic because she existed before magic existed. Um, what else do we got? Robo, I think, doesn't get magic because he's a robot. And we only get one other character that has magic, and he is the one that uses shadow magic. So, I think that's pretty much the extent of our mages. But it's time to go through the mountains. The one we literally cut a hole through. Which is what you do. We are now in the magic cave. We're gonna have to use magic in here. Oh, there's a, another chest in here too. Maybe we can just duck past all these enemies considering <laughs> they are a pain to kill. A message is scrawled in blood here. Beware the jugglers in the fiend lord's keep. Strike them, and they tighten their defense against blows. Cast spells upon them, and they strengthen their defense against magic. Apt. So, to kill jugglers, you have to go back and forth between magic and non-magic. This is it. Such a spooky castle, too. And look at that ominous, towering stronghold. With a stone dragon on top. The Fiend Lord's Keep. And we're gonna go kill them. I'm just gonna move my microphone just a teensy bit. It's just a little bit too low. There we go. Alright, let's get this party started. We're going inside. It's remarkable how he doesn't manage to secure his main door. Or perhaps it's that he doesn't care. Bum bum bum. This is our treasure. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's play. Dot dot dot. So you can't get that treasure yet. Nadia, forgive me, I was wrong. Please return to the castle. Frog, you're safe. Nadia, forgive me, I was wrong. Please return to the castle. Mid ether obtained. Chrono, so this is where you've been since the fair. You had me worried sick. Uh huh, that makes perfect sense to me. There's nothing here. It's a very spooky place. Also, there's no background music. Which is perhaps even spookier. Let's go all the way to the other side. Hee <laughs> hee. Dot dot dot. Another mid ether. Let's play. Let's play. Hee <laughs> hee. Mid ether. Shelter. So obviously something is amiss. And now there's a save point. And spooky laughing. Ozzy. Welcome, Glenn, or should I say Sir Froggy? Mwahaha. <laughs> Never expected to see you here. Are those your replacements for Cyrus? Lord Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take up your business with me. After you take it up with the Master Swordsman Slash and flee the magician. That is, oh right. And all 100 beasts in this keep, of course. We have many things to kill now. Uh, Frog will also be able to use a ton of critical hits. His mass immune will pretty much crit all the time. Well, it's like 50% or more, I think. I can't remember exactly how much it is. 
but it does just a ton of damage. Nice. We're gonna take a little bit of damage this first fight. And that's a bat. Such spooky sounds. But the first fight's almost over. One guy left. He's already been hit because of the counterattack, so. Should die with very little problem. And he did. Marlow's level increased. We're gonna have to kill all 100 enemies including Slash and Flea. There's a lot to do. Lots of murder to go on, I guess. I'll just have to clear my throat one sec, guys. My apologies for that. Let's just quickly heal up and continue on our way. Do you want our treasure? Yes. Okay, but first, play with us, please. Pretty please. Now we have... Uh, this is a perfect opportunity, actually, to use, uh, not Ice Sword. Oh, not Aura World, where is it? Sword Stream? Do I not have any? Okay, so we're gonna have to use Normal Magic. I mean, you can absolutely kill them just with your sword, it just takes forever. And one more to go. We can probably kill. No, oh, no, you can't. You literally can't kill them. So we are gonna have to use ice. Also, we're gonna be really focusing on using things like haste in upcoming fights because haste is extremely important. Like in most games with haste, it's really good. Barrier... What is it? Barrier Sphere? Oh. Reduces magical damage by one third. Nadia, forgive me, I was wrong. Please return to the castle. That's where I'll bury you. He exploded into enemies. One dead. And now we have two more to go in terms of bats, and one more to go in terms of the- what's Annihilation Zone do? No, it's okay. Fine. Whatever. There's a Retaliation hit. A non-critical hit? Oh my god. What is the world coming to? And one more bet to go. I've lost track of the enemies we've killed already because I wasn't paying attention, so... We're just going to have to wing it. Frog, you're safe. That will not do at all. They just keep exploding into enemies. I'm gonna have to redouble, like, change how we target with Frog. Because his damage is way higher right now. Just in general, because of his uh, critical hit ability. So if we use Marl and Chrono on enemies, and then Frog on his own enemy, usually that would be pretty good, I think. It doesn't do good for Frog to critical something that Chrono's already hit, because then. It's pretty much the end of the fight anyways for that monster. Because 300 damage is a lot of damage. Except against the boss. We're almost up to our first boss. Chrono, so this is where you've been since the fair. You've had me worried sick. How does she know about the fair and why is she in 680? You've been very naughty. I think you'll have to die. Kill the sorcerer. And now we just kill all the little enemies. And then we have our first mini boss, I think. 
in the next room. I think it's Flea. Slash is on the other side with the sword. We should probably top up before we go in there though, in terms of hit points. We have tons of mid ethers, so if we need to get Marl some MP back, that is perfectly fine. Sorry about that. My computer decided it was time to have an update reset, and we kind of lost a little bit of information there. Luckily we didn't lose the whole video, which is pretty much the most important thing. Only like five minutes of it, so we're gonna take on this thing which is not the real flea, and there is an MP buster of course, which has wiped out our MP on Chrono, but that's okay. That was not flea, where's the true one? T, I am here, right here. And there she is. Flea. Greetings little green one. What's with her? She's a powerful magician. Do not lower your guard. Flea is not the mere woman she seems. That's a little bit sexist, but sure. Yes, yes, I'm a man after all, right? Out. That's a guy? Tee hee hee, man or woman, it's all the same. Power is beauty, and I am deliciously strong. Poor little froggy. You must be lonely now that Cyrus is gone. And to be turned into something so hideous. How dreadful. But since you brought new friends to over to play, let me show you all a good time. And now it's time to kill. This fight's actually fairly tough. Um, we need to, first of all, mid ether Chrono, and of course, our good friend Frog is asleep, but we're gonna haste Chrono. She does a lot of status effect type stuff, so that's kind of annoying, but... Frog is awake again, and we're gonna try and get a haste off. Oh, he's not awake, but we're gonna try and haste him anyways. If we can wake him up at some point, that'd be good. There we go, now maybe he's awake. He is. We need him to hit really hard with the mass immune, but he's really not doing that good of a job at it right now. There we go. It's a little bit better. We could use X-Strike, but I think actually his critical hit damage alone is a little bit better than that. I'm just gonna wait and do an aura whirl. And then we'll just keep smacking her around with um, the mass immune a little bit. Except that when we don't critical, it doesn't do all that much damage. Poison Cloud is a very annoying attack, and she does it a lot. But only one person got hit, so I'm actually pretty okay with that. We got double haste on, so that's fine. We're gonna have to heal eventually here. That hits pretty hard. So the look is an attack that we have to kind of watch out for. And we're going to need to heal everyone again. Stop that. We definitely need to heal now. Confuse is an unfortunate ability to have on us. Means Frog is going to start hitting us for a bunch of damage, or just miss entirely. Oh, good, he attacked the right person, just not for very much damage. Stop doing the look, that's just a ridiculous amount of damage to have to heal. Oh, good, he's back under our control. Another 268 damage. We're gonna have to do another aura whirl, obviously. Must be a counterattack thing. When she's laughing or something. Blind is bad. Uh, only one person got hit, though. And he's asleep again. We're gonna do another Aura World just to keep our hit points up.
Yay, counterattack. We have not been counterattacking very much this fight. Whoops, that wasn't the wrong person, but whatever. Oh, she's asleep anyways, it doesn't matter. Well, that should wake everyone up after we hit them all. At least that's a thing. And Poison Cloud, of course. And a Retribution attack. Oh, that's the end of the fight. 500 experience, 10 TP, 1000 gold. Frog's level increased. But, but I'm so beautiful, Lord Magus. We got a magic capsule. We also need to desperately save here, or not save, but he, uh, heal up here. And we also need to inventory high, not high ether, mid ether. That's a mid potion. Just give everyone some mana. What? How are you back alive again? I killed you. I for sure killed you. Oh well. Fine. Ah. We have to waste an attack finishing that one off. Come on, Frog. You have one job. Your only job is to critically hit things. Literally, that's all I need you to do is just critically hit every enemy, and that's that's 100% what I need done by you. Everything else is secondary. Hopefully we run into a save point, because I think we're running low on time. We also need to go kill Slash next. I guess we're fighting our way back through. It's good for experience, but it is kind of annoying. And last one, hopefully we can get rid of him, and then we'll be free and clear after all of the enemies in the entire world. It's been a lot of dudes. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Had a bit of a cough. That was a solid critical on Marl's behalf there. It's very ominous music playing in the background right now. It's kind of eerie, unsettling music. And we killed everything that needed to be killed anyways. We don't get a save point, unfortunately, so... I guess our goal is just to... Go through. Dance, dance! The god of fiends is born tonight. Ah, oh, the sacrifice has arrived. We're the sacrifice, obviously. That may kill that guy. Yep, okay, good. Everything is fine now. Just skeletons left alive, they're not that hard. In fact, they're really easy. Even Marl can kill them in one hit. Which is kinda nice. It's nice that she's able to do things that are not magic related. Hey, we got lightning too. That'll help us out. Not in this particular fight very much, but in general. Even death does not stop something. Such foolish creatures, you humans. Sorry, I went really fast there. <clears throat> you know what? Let's uh, showcase lightning too. We just got it, so we might as well try it out. Didn't do anything to the jailer, but you know what? Killed all the skeletons, which is pretty cool. Frog should be able to kill the Jailer alone. 
And now we have a boss to kill again. Let's inventory. We have normal ethers. Let's just try and top up a little bit with those. And we actually still have a bunch of potions. No point. Oops. No point in wasting anything else. Please help us escape from this eternal suffering. Bunch of skellies. We should be able to kill three on our first turn and then the other two. And then we'll be fighting Slush, who is not as hard as Flea, I don't think. I don't remember her being as him being as hard, actually. Let's find out, though. That is the important thing. Okay, so... Hmm, seems you freed my undying slaves. Such insolence. He looks super cool, though. I like him as a character model. It has been ages, Slash. I must admit, I'd not even dreamed you would find the courage to come here. Had Cyrus not been with you the last time, your fate would have been the same as all the others. But I'm sure you'd have fit right in with those skeletal servants of mine. And here we go. Actually, we're gonna just normal attack, normal attack, tech haste on frog first. He doesn't use a lot of status ailments, I don't think. At least I don't remember him having a lot of them. But what he does do is a bunch of damage. Just gonna keep everyone topped up a little bit while we take down Slash. Plus, with uh, the Master Moon doing 300 damage, a hit. Well, when it's critting, anyways. We'll get some extra damage in this round. We didn't take any damage, so. That attack does 69 damage, which isn't that bad, actually. Stop not critting. We may need to heal at some point. But with haste on both of our characters, we should be fine for damage output. Yay, critical hits. Not critical hit. Ow. Oh, that's it. You've some prowess. For the first time in ages, perhaps. I'd best employ all of my own as well. And you, without Cyrus, you've no hope. It is a little annoying that he got rid of our haste. We also need to heal a little bit. Okay, Aura Whirl. And just attack. That was a retaliation. Get haste back on Chrono and Frog. Moral not so important. Just need to dump as much damage as we can into him. Also, Moral's just taking a beating. But now she's fine. Yay, we finally got a crit. That attack kind of hurts. Um, combo... or a whirl... attack.
Oops, didn't mean to attack with Marl, but whatever, extra damage is good. Yeah, he says. Or possibly, yeah. Yeah, he's definitely countering our attacks for a lot of damage. Gonna go ahead and just attack with him, and then Aura Whirl with everyone else. That critical hit, or that uh, retaliation hit, really hurts. And that's the end of that. 500 experience, 10 TP, 1500 gold. Mara leveled up. Unbelievable, but to fall fighting for Lord Magus? There could be no greater honor. And there's a saving point, and also a sword. We got the Slasher, which is actually a really good sword, to be honest. It's uh, 7 attack better than ours, and 2 speed better than ours. And we can also use a shelter here, and we're going to call it a video at this point. So like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you all in the next video. We'll go take on Ozzy and Magus. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.